back for I guess for what is episode three of the teardown slash rebuild. So today I want to get this front end off, get the crash bar, um, intake, AC condenser, intercooler, radiator, get the radiator drained. Um, from film frog, you get the battery, battery tray, um, the what's it called, discharge pipe, and then get some plastic and zip ties over the turbo inlet and outlet. Um, I think that'll probably be it for today. I just want to do like a couple hours every day on the car. I'm still working on getting a cherry picker thing so I can pull the motor, but we're looking, we're looking good. I get off work early tomorrow. I plan on getting the engine sand and the cherry picker tomorrow, and uh, just getting down and dirty, getting all the hoses off the firewall. Um, I need to put the hooks back on for the chains because um, I removed them for the. MPI kit. I gotta, I have to pop off the fuel rail and, and put that bracket back on there. But it really shouldn't be too bad at all. I got plenty of room under it. Um, I can just lay lower down, rotate it, I think, and then pull it out like this. So hopefully, hopefully that's what happens. But uh, I got my little APR booklet that came with their intercooler. It gives you step by step on how to pull off the front end. You know, I've done it like probably five times now. So I don't remember the exact stuff. So I think I'm about to start with getting these headlights out and then uh, undoing some hoses. And... It ain't too bad. Shouldn't take too long. Good ass song. Anyway, um, so got the washer reservoir off, the uh, headlight covers, the headlights, they are off. Now the car is sitting here. This thing would focus. What's going on? There we go. Headlights are off. There's brackets. Boom. Now the car looks so sad sitting here. <laughs> Damn. It's upsetting. It's about to get even uglier. So, oh yeah, we got the hood latch taken off as well. I probably will just go ahead and take out the battery and battery tray real quick. Um, we're going to have to disconnect all the shifter stuff. I forgot about the you know, this. I'm going to disconnect this and let that the fluid drain out of there. Um, probably do the discharge pipe as well. We'll see. We'll see how far we get today. Like I said, main thing is getting all this junk out. I'm going to go ahead and try try and take this crash bar off by myself. The radiator and all that stuff's going to have to sit uh, between the bucket and the tire here. I don't really have much else to put it, but and once we get the scratch bar off and get that down, we can figure out how to deal with the AC condenser, get that removed, and then uh, just start undoing hoses for the coolant and uh, get that intercooler out of there. Man. Man, oh man. Holy shit, the head of that just snapped off. That's not good. Jeez. That's a big freaking bolt too. It really just snapped, snapped that baby clean off. That sucks. It must have been like cracked or something. Maybe I over torqued it, putting it on and damn. Well that's gonna be fun getting out. Well that did not take any effort at all. I thought I was gonna wind up having to drill this baby out. It's good. 
I'm going to write in the damn trash. Guess I should order all new, all new ones, huh? Probably a good idea. So here's a, a little look of what's going on in here. We're going to have to get this top one off, which is uh, two T27s or T30s here. Um, you got the main coolant right there. The top one already undid. It's like these nice, you just pull these up and you can pop it off. Other than the intercooler hoses and that, that one down there and then this line, is everything should come off. And the electrical connectors, obviously these zip ties I got. But uh, simple, seems pretty easy. All right guys, I already kind of wiped some of it away, but right down here in the, in the pipe, there is like, I mean, there's a bunch of oil. There's tons. Oh, sorry, I'm not even pointing the camera at the right place. Like there's a good bit of like just like fresh oil. Um, I always figure this motor did push a little bit and over here on the outlet. I left some of it there. Hold on, let me get some some good. Sorry, it's hard for me to do both. There's tons of oil. I mean, who knows how long that's been sitting there, you know? But or how long it took to get there. But um, yeah, I just really pushed the shit out of this motor. I'm sure the rings on this are. Uh, not the best at this point, but uh, making a little bit of progress here. I almost got this front end off. About to make a mess. All right, intercooler undone, radiator undone. Uh, the fans go to this. This is big old connector here. Uh, that made life really easy. Just one connector for the fans. Um, only thing left, yeah, I'm about to pop off these AC lines, and the front end will come off. I uh, got the system drained. I'm just going to disconnect them down here on the side. And uh, and there's a bracket. I got a buddy that sent me a part number for an Audi where it's the same dimensions for the bracket for the uh, air conditioner thing. And it just has like an idler pulley. So I wanted to get a different size belt. I must be able to take that whole big old John off along with all these, these real thick we got a lot of stuff I can get out here. I'm really thinking about getting rid of the aux radiator, getting a bigger radiator and a bigger intercooler while everything's apart. And then I can make real brake ducting, kind of like, it wouldn't be like that. Like I would get rid of that one, but like on the front of the bumper, I would basically like cut out this whole section here, get a piece of metal with, um, you know, like a hole cut out basically, but the, on the inside it has like a place for a hose to go over. And then run that to the brakes, and uh, this thing needs washed real bad. Then run that to the brakes for brake ducting and cooling. I figure with the bigger radiator, you won't need that real small. And it's like all dented up, and it's always caked in bugs anyway. So I don't, I don't think it really does. On my VR6, um, when I supercharged it, I got rid of the aux radiator on that, and I never had a problem. So um, we'll see. I know people make upgrades for these, and stuff so i have to talk with some people that track their cars and i'm pretty sure everyone's going to say to keep it but we'll see let me know what you guys think because like i said i did it before on my last golf and uh i didn't see any issues and i didn't even upgrade a radiator i just deleted it and called it a day and i shoved the intercooler in front of it with this you get rid of that and i'm getting rid of the ac condenser and with a bigger radiator and intercooler i don't know should i try it find out we'll see let me know what you think now the AC things are off. I should just be able to pick the bad boy up. Yeah, buddy. Uh, oh yeah. I should put that on down. Alright. Oh yeah. There we go. Alright, so here's a nice close look at everything going on. You got your uh one side for the radiator, one side for the intercooler. Same over here, boom, boom. The connection right there for the fans. Uh, that's pretty much it for connections. Oh, and then this bracket here is connected to the fan shroud as well. But there you go. If you guys ever wonder what your water pump looks like, your water pump is this, this thing here under the manifold. Um, yep, thermostat's in there too. Uh, we'll be getting rid of this big old piece of junk. Thank God, like I said, there'll just be a bracket there with an idle, idler pulley on it. Um, yeah, I don't know exactly. I guess I'm going to have to take like literally every electrical connection off 
the motor for the most part, I guess. See what all wires into the side, and I have to take all the connectors off and kind of lay it over the side of the car. I'm gonna take the fuel rail off, lay it over on this side of the car. Um, it looks like there's plenty of room, talking like like side to side here, to like when the when we get on the change and shit. It shouldn't. We almost might be able to just pull it straight out, straight towards us. So that would be nice. That'd be real nice. All right, so I decided to make a big mess. I forgot I had this pan in the truck that I bought today. Could have had this there the whole time, but uh, whatever. So we got the battery out, intake out. Uh, we took out the charge pipes and or the whatever discharge and charge pipes uh, for the intercooler and shit. So that's out of the way. Sprayed everything down with some brake cleaner. Got some of this dirt out. I said that AC is going. Um, oh, I was looking. So for this aux radiator, it's um, this ugly hose that goes across the top, which I would love to delete. So that comes right off the thermostat water pump housing. It goes down to the aux rad, and then the aux rad comes right out, and it tees back in. So, I mean, that would be really easy to delete, whether I cap it or just run a hose from here to here. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure I'm just going to delete that whole thing so I can run the brake ducting I want. And just upgrade radiators call it a day so um that's enough working on the car for the day um poor girl new mexico correctional facility in las lunas the eastern new mexico news reports Stan has found her new home for a little bit. That's all I'm gonna put out for today. Um, trying to eat, take a shower. Anyway, um, tomorrow or the next video, we'll see where I think what I'm dead set on now getting the drive shaft undone tomorrow, um, get all the wiring, harness stuff off the motor itself, off to the side, fuel rail off and off to the side, get those brackets on, and uh. Pretty much anything that needs to get done up until pulling the motor. That's, that's the next step. And then once we get the motor off, we'll pull the trans off while it's still in the thingy. Um, look at the clutch, all that shit, put it up on the stand. Then we'll decide what we're going to do about the trans. I need to get up under there and look at the part number on it because there's a couple different versions. And then start sending some emails tonight. So anyway, questions, comments, concerns. Drop down below. Let me know what you think about uh, deleting that aux radiator and uh, any other deletes I should do while I'm in here, maybe. I don't know. Let me know. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the flip flop.